I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jax. The golden parachute for ousted JEA CEO Aaron Zahn may be hitting a snag. Zahn set to receive hundreds of thousands of dollars after the JEA board of directors voted him out last month. Well, at least one Jacksonville City Council member disagrees. City Councilman Matt Carlucci does not think Zahn should get any severance. He believes Zahn should be terminated with cause. The Florida Chamber of Commerce has taken an initial step toward intervening in a lawsuit in which a political committee is seeking more time to collect petition signatures for a proposed constitutional amendment that would legalize recreational marijuana. The Chamber opposes the proposed amendment and has backed increased restrictions on signature gathering, including a law passed during the 2019 legislative session. SeaWorld is offering free admission to 2020 Florida preschoolers. Parents have to register online for the promotion. The deadline for that is February 3rd. And Tony Baselli will get another shot at enshrinement in the NFL Hall of Fame. The Roy Butler will get his first shot at election. Baselli, an offensive tackle and the first draft pick in Jags history, was named a finalist for the fourth consecutive year. Butler, a former star at Lee High School, Florida State, and then in the NFL with the Packers, was announced as one of the 15 modern era finalists. The news continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.